Hi, my name is Alex with Daytech Tech Tutorials and today I'm going to show you how to visualize overdue items on your board. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump into Jira and let's walk you through the steps to basically utilize this functionality. So as a preview, we are going to be color coding our dashboard, our board, our active sprint board with a red color if our due date is greater than now. So essentially, if our due date is in the past, which this is what it signifies by the due is less than now, then that means that this issue is late. And so to be able to take advantage of this, we have to do a couple of things. Out of the box, your project is not going to have due dates. So we need to come into Jira, into the project settings, and we need to go down to screens. And we need to make sure that we use an out of the box field. The field is called due date. And so you're going to come into your screens and you're going to come in and add due. So if you type in due date, you'll be able to find it. You select it and that's pretty much it. At that point, that field is now available to your Jira issues based on the screens here. And you're going to be able to take advantage of this field. Now, please do keep in mind that I'm not a big proponent of this. I'm not a big proponent of putting due dates in your issues because from an agile perspective, the end of your sprint is your due date and your team should have the autonomy to essentially set that due date to be that end of that sprint. And they have the creative freedom to basically get their stuff done as long as they meet their deadline. So that goes with a lot with trust, well, a lot with just the self-organizing value of Scrum. Now, a lot of the teams that I work with, they're not typically that mature enough to be able to trust that team to not have due dates, or they typically have executives that are still very much in a waterfall process and they like to see due dates on everything. So if you're in that camp, this video is for you because I'm going to show you how to do and how to illustrate those overdue items. But hopefully, keeping my fingers crossed, you all don't have to take advantage of this video because you really should not be using due dates in Jira because again, it's, it, it goes against the principles of Agile in my opinion. All right, so now that we have that, now that we've added it in, all you got to do now is take advantage of the fact that you have the due date. So the easiest way here is you're going to open an issue up and you're going to come and you'll see that there's a due date field. Sometimes it's hidden under more fields. So you have to expand more fields and you'll come down and find that due date. In this particular case, I'm going to go find a due date from like last week because I am really, really overdue here. Now you are seeing the colors already because I already have the answer built in, but I'm going to show you how to do a couple of things. And so the next thing I'm going to show you is there's a due date that you can visualize in your card. This is not out of the box. So I'm going to show you how to illustrate and visualize that due date in the card. And then I'm going to show you how to make the color red. So both of those things we're going to do in the board settings. So you're going to come up here to the ellipses, go to board settings, and then we're going to come down to, first. We're going to come to card layout and you're going to find this, this little chart. And then it has state or it'll have something in here. You're going to cl click in here. You're going to come down to the D's and you're going to find due date. Once you find due date, you will click add and that'll essentially add the due date. Now you want to add it mainly to the active sprint, but feel free to add it to the backlog and the active sprint. You're going to need it basically in both places for, for the full effect, but you really only need it in the active sprint for this demo. So once you have it down here and the way to get it down here, you have to click add, it'll bring it down here and now you're ready to do the color. So in the color, all you got to do is come here, do your color based on and select queries. And from your queries, the red will be the first option. So we'll come in here, make sure red's your color, and then you're going to put in the JQL. And so the JQL is due less than now. And so when you hit update on that, it'll save it. And now when I go back to my board, any issue that's due date is in the past, it will color code it red. So that way you can come in here and really easily visualize overdue items without having to click on filters or do anything else because now you don't even need to do mental math because now you're just looking at colors and you're like, okay, these are overdue. And now you can go talk to that assignee, talk to that person on your team and figure out what's going on and why is that item past its due date. So anyways, that's it for this video. Really short, easy tip and trick for how to leverage due dates and visualize them in your active sprint. Again, not really something I would recommend you do because again, you're supposed to trust your team. You're supposed to enable them and empower them to be responsible and to get their stuff done within the sprint. But if you're working in a team that absolutely relies on due dates, I hope you enjoy this tip because I've worked with many teams that have found it very beneficial and hopefully you do too. And if you do, make sure you drop a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel because it really, really does help the channel grow. 
And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.